Hey there, Chelsea here, Monarch Alley. I'm a vintage lover, thrifter, and part-time reseller. And today I have a different type of video for you. We don't have a what sold, we don't have a haul, we have a bit of a how-to, but we're gonna kind of learn together because I have a confession to make. I am not some leather bag restoration artist, um, and I'm not someone that, has, that grew up knowing how to take care of my stuff. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm bad at getting stains out of clothing. Um, I used to shrink stuff, I'm better about that now. But anyway, I have this awesome vintage leather bag, leather coach bag that I found at the bins that is in pretty decent shape, honestly, but it could use a little love. So I thought that we together would learn how to use um, Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam. You'll see it here on this bag. So uh, a little bit about Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam is that it is intended for Dr. Martin's shoes, right? Those are like the leather combat boots that huh, we know and love. They're so cool. They're so trendy right now. Um, but you can use it on other items such as bags, which I have done in the past. So I'm very confident that this is going to really make this uh, vintage coach bag really pop. Um, so I'm going to just read like quickly on the label. It's, it'll be fine. I'm going to read real quick that it is a blend of natural and synthetic waxes formulated to nourish condition and protect leather. Um, so I think that's what's really awesome about this is that this stuff really kind of soaks into the leather, leather conditions it and brings some new life to it. Cause sometimes it can look a little dried out. I'm not saying that this is going to, um, fix major cracks in leather or anything like that, but it makes a big difference. As I said, I've used it on products before. Um, so the directions, so simple. Apply a small amount onto the leather using the sponge that's inside here. Work it well into the seams, allow it to dry. Um, one note, don't use it on suede or patent leathers. Now this bag here is uh, your, your basic leather bag. So we're gonna be all good here. Okay, so I'm going to switch to a different angle and I'm just gonna work it in together and we'll talk about it, okay? I'm so excited. I've been putting this off because, I don't know, I just, projects, you know? Do you ever get that way? Do you ever like pick up something that needs a little bit of work and then it ends up in the corner of your office for months? That's this bag. But um, I'm really excited to shine it up, make it look really good, and list it. Um, hopefully make some profit on it. These bags are selling for, I believe it was $75 and up. If I could get $50 for it, that'd be pretty cool, right? Especially since I found it at the bins. Um, all right, so let's do it. All right, so here we are. We have the Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam. When you open it up, you can see I've been using the sponge a lot. Um, you have a sponge here that, yeah, it could probably be washed. I mean, it comes in this tin. You can pop the tin out and that's where the magic is. Ooh. So all you gotta do is kind of dip the sponge in a little bit. Um, and it does not take a lot really to make this stuff pop. So I'm gonna show you, you know what? We'll just start right here. Cause we talked about these scratches, right? So I'm just gonna kind of dab a little on there. <clears throat> dab will do ya. Dab a little on there and let it sit for just a few seconds and then kind of start working it in a circular motion. Sorry, I've never done an over, over the top video before. Over the top, isn't that a, like an 80s movie that bros love? Over the top. I think it's about arm wrestling. Um, okay, <laughs> so I'm starting to work it in and we're not seeing a huge amount of progress because these are like some actual scratches, but I definitely noticed like this one is not as prominent as it was. And what's cool about this is you can do a few once overs um, to really get it in there. I would just recommend not overdoing it because you don't want it to feel like the texture. You don't want it to feel greasy at the end, like if you overdo it. So anyway, okay, I've been kind of working that. I'm going to let it sit a little bit. As I go, I kind of use some of the excess to get the edges here because the edges probably see some of the most wear, you know? So if we can kind of condition those and help those look a little nicer. Okay, so how are we doing so far? Oh yeah, I think that although you still see the scratches, um, it's starting to recover a little bit. So that's kind of nice, okay. I love this bag so much. This bag makes me think of like the 90s. Well, it, because it is, it's from the 90s, it's vintage. Um, and it makes me think of Friends. So I'm gonna get a little bit more on my sponge here. But it makes me think of the show Friends. Like, I feel like Rachel would be rocking this bag 
Um, and I also, in this bins haul, which I'll link in my video here, I actually um, found a black one too that did not have a strap. And it was in a bin that like someone else had just picked through and I found it, so I'm excited. Okay, so I'm just kind of giving this whole pe uh, part here just like a light once over. I can definitely start to see a difference um, in like the color and like it just, you know how when makeup artists <laughs> will put like a, a sassy serum on their face and they're like, oh, it's a, you look so dewy. I don't wanna say this looks dewy, but I definitely can notice um, which side I've done and which side I haven't done. Cause you just have that more dull, maybe let's say dull and sheen. How about that? <laughs> So yeah, basically you just put a little bit on that sponge and then kind of rub it around, work it in. Work it. Go on Missy Elliott on there. Is it worth it? Let's work it. Those aren't the lyrics. <laughs> okay, so I think you're getting the general idea here and I am very happy with how this is turning out. Um, yeah, because it's a simple process. I don't know why I've been putting this off, y'all. Do you do that? Do you put off projects? Gosh. So you can see here, I'm just really starting, and it's starting to get like this darker brown. That will lighten up as the um, Wonder Balsam like absorbs into the leather. That darkness will kind of brighten up a little bit and just look moisturized and healthy. Let's look at the edges. Okay, so we have the edge here. See how it is here? It's kind of light. It definitely looks like, okay, I've seen some better days. I'm gonna, you know, I have a good amount of product still on the sponge. So I'm just going to go ahead and like kind of push it on there. Sorry, <laughs> push it on there and then start doing that circular motion again. And see it's already, I think it's already showing that progress and that's really gonna help you get more money for your items. So you could sell it as is and say, hey y'all, this is a vintage bag, it's seen better days. Or you can spend 10, 15 minutes um, zhuzhing up the bag and now like a lot of the scratches that were on this edge are gone and it looks so um yeah it looks so much just newer and cared for and that's what you want especially if you want to sell something for a higher dollar amount um you want it to look cared for and so people are getting you know the best product they can when they order it from them now on the back here i think i've already done a lot of the back i've shown you doing the side I did the front, so you know, you don't have to watch me restore this entire bag. So I'm gonna flip back and we can talk about it a little bit more. And I think that'll do it, guys. Wow, I don't why did I put this off? Seriously, people. So here's the front again. We did it just about four or five minutes ago, based on the timer. I definitely think it looks like a healthier leather bag. Those scratches, you see it in the light, but when you're wearing this bag, you don't really notice it. Yeah, and we'll go back to the edge. It's been soaking in for a minute. Yeah. Okay, let me see the other edge that I haven't quite done yet. You see that? That's a good like before and after because both edges had similar wear. Okay, so you can see the lightness there. And you can see how it's still a little light because the leather is worn, but it's got that supple leather action going on. Okay, I'm gonna stop being a creep about leather. Let's flip around, let's talk about it some more. All right, guys, so yeah, here's the bag again. The front is looking a lot healthier, I feel like. I didn't work the edges as much as I want to, so I wanna give that another once over, because um, like I said, those edges see a lot of wear. But this, I mean, this is a good looking bag. And I can't believe, <laughs> like I said so many times on this video, I can't believe I waited so long to do this. I picked this up at the bins, it cost me no more than $2. And now because of the 10 minutes of work that I put in, I'll be able to sell it for so much more, but you know, I'm so tempted to keep it. Like this bag is just so great. Um, I especially love that the uh, strap has this adjustable buckle situation going on. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Very uh, Monica and Rachel friends. You know Phoebe wouldn't be rocking a leather bag. Okay, but anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts because what did we learn here today? We learned that we shouldn't uh, procrastinate and we shouldn't put off projects because gosh, it feels good to get them done, right? We learned that Chelsea doesn't really know how to describe leather without being a creep. <laughs> okay, so hopefully I can work in some better keywords. If you know any good keywords for this bag, put it in the comments. I'm clearly on the struggle bus. Um, and what else did we learn? Using Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam works on handbags. It's so simple. You can get this on Amazon. I forget the price because I bought it about a year ago, maybe $10. 
and it comes in this cute little container spongy you just dip and go it's just so simple so i hope that this uh, video is helpful for you and that you learned a little bit about leather bag care as i am continuing to learn about how to care for these beautiful items that i pick up and really make them shine and pop um that's all i have for you today seriously thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you so much and i hope that you enjoyed it like i said subscribe um drop me a comment let me know less creepy words for leather okay i need you all i need you all right i'll see you next time